Hey, good evening. It's Friday, August 23rd, and welcome back to Everyday Talks 24-7. Another gorgeous night here in the South Carolina Midlands. God's again doing his wonders with the sunset. There are times in this Christian life where things are hard. We talked about a little bit about last night. But if we want to do what Christ wants us to do, not everyone is going to be exactly thrilled with that. But the Holy Spirit knows that. He's, he's, he's provided the weapons we need, the tools we need to deal with the difficulties of this life. There are times when we are lonely and afflicted because we have done the right thing. We don't need to be proud about it or arrogant, but it's true. See, the Psalms, the wisdom literature, teaches us how to deal with emotions, how we can make our emotions work for us. These Psalms are God's guidebook for our emotions. We just need to take advantage of them. So the Holy Spirit knows that there's going to be times when you and I are going to have really hard times with people. We're going to feel lonely and afflicted. Well, Psalm 25 is one of those songs, those beautiful thoughts of the Spirit of God, that through David he prepares us for these things. The psalm is an acrostic poem. That means that every verse in the psalm follows a different letter in the Hebrew alphabet. So there's a lot of thought that David put into this. And tonight I'm just going to look at the end, the verses 16 through 20, 21, 16 to 21 of Psalm 25. Let these words bring comfort to you as you are faithful in trying to walk after Christ. There are times when we want to do that and we're going to be lonely and afflicted. Listen to what David is saying here. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am alone and in deep distress, or lonely and afflicted, as another translation says. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Can you identify with this? I can. There are days when it's like a cascade. It never stops. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. And then see how many enemies I have and how viciously they hate me. This isn't being paranoid. Sometimes standing for truth, having integrity, will result in this kind of response. And we need not to be arrogant. We need not to be angry and feel sorry for ourselves. But this is the way we're identifying with God. And this psalm is meant to encourage us. So see how many enemies I have, how viciously they hate me. Protect me, rescue me from them. Don't let me be disgraced, for in you I take refuge. You see, instead of being vicious or angry or returning evil for evil, instead of being down on people, Instead of giving up on God, verse 20, protect me, rescue me, rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced, for I take refuge in you. What a powerful thought. What a gracious reminder for us. May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. May integrity and honesty protect me. Not bitterness, not anger, not, not striking back. Not violence, but what, I have compassion for these folks. My integrity, because I am with you. I have signed on, you have signed me on to walk with you. And some of that is through some hard times. So may integrity of faithfully be trusting you, protect me. May honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. I may not get these people to change, but my hope is in God's faithfulness to me. Your hope is in God's faithfulness to you. Let me read the psalm again, these, these passages I've read tonight, and just soak it in. 
what David is telling us. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am alone and in deep distress. My problems go from bad to worse. Oh, save me from them all. Feel my pain and see my trouble. Forgive all my sins. See how many enemies I have and how viciously they hate me. Protect me. Rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced, for in you I take refuge. May integrity and honesty protect me, for I put my hope in you. See, my hope is in God. I take refuge in Him. I don't need to take it in stuff. I don't need to take it in being involved in self-pity. I don't need to be involved in indulgence. All I need to be about is taking refuge in God. God is our hope. As we said last night from Psalm 73, the nearness of God is our good. And when we are feeling this kind of affliction, this kind of pain, this kind of unjust treatment, take refuge in God and be encouraged. God is at work in you, and he will see you through this. He won't abandon you. He won't let you succumb to your enemies. Take hope. Be encouraged. Our God is with us, and God is so gracious to provide these beautiful words for you and me where we live every day. And that's the thought for this night. And Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for the privilege of talking to you every day. Bye-bye. Thank you.